Hello and welcome back to TCG Dreamland. I have a lot to talk about in this video, but first I want to tell you that supposedly tomorrow, the day after release, I'm going to be getting Pokemon Center exclusive ETBs and I am going to be doing a video where I open the Maridon regular ETB and comparing it to the Pokemon Center exclusive and a different video, a separate video, comparing the Coridon regular and Pokemon Center exclusive ETBs. So subscribe if you want to see those. And in this video, comment down below. I should be uploading one of them tomorrow. Tell me which one you want to see first. Do you want to see Maridon first or Coridon first? So comment that down below. But for this video, we're opening a booster box. So I want to talk about hit rates because it seems like with Scarlet and Violet, hit rates of the really rare cards are actually increased. So it seems like the overall theme is that they're just doing English Pokemon like they've been doing Japanese. And so with Japanese sets, well, aside from the fact that uh, there's still some differences that, you know, the Japanese booster boxes are only 24 packs and there's fewer cards per pack, I believe, stuff like that. But, you know, capitalism. So they have to they have to, you know, gouge us somehow. But things that they're changing along with the silver or the gray borders, silver if they're hollow, gray if they're regular, but they are changing. Obviously, they changed the rarity system with the two black stars and the one gold star, two gold star, two silver star, things like that. If you watched my last video, I discussed that, all of the new symbols for the rarities. Um, but they also changed hit rates. So for Japanese boxes, it was very typical to get a couple art rares and then one secret art rare. Is it secret art rare or super art rare? I don't remember. But uh, two of the one gold stars and then one of the two gold stars, which is what we've been calling alt arts for the last couple years. And so it seems like the average hit rate for alt arts is one per box now. Very, but I mean, last year with Sword and Shield, the hit rates for alt arts was about one in four to five boxes. Like one in four boxes was your hit rate for alt arts. But from what I've seen from other YouTube channels and also, so I, I went to the card shop this morning and there was literally just a couple guys that were like buying boxes and opening them right there. And then if they didn't get the card they want, they would just buy another box and open cards. And the employees were like, yeah, we've seen like basically everything. Like I've probably seen a master set just this morning already because there were these two guys just like opening a dozen boxes there. But uh, yeah, it seems like for your alt art Pokemon and trainers, like your alt art EXs and your alt art trainers, it seems like one per box is the new hit rate for the two gold star rarity cards. And then it seems like, so the way it works with Japanese was, you know, you get your, you get your one, two gold. Oh, very nice. I really wanted this card. Very cool. So this is the Full Art Arcanine EX, but it's it's slightly different from regular Full Arts. They they decided to do the Arcanine and the Gyarados different. So they are silver stars, right? So it's two silver stars, which is the Full Art, but it looks different from the other Full Arts. It's really cool looking. It's super sparkly. The background has those X's. That's a really cool card. That's going to be a really good hit, value-wise, in my opinion. Very cool textured, super sparkly, shiny. That was actually one of the cards I wanted. I think that Arcanine and then also the Gyarados that has the same foil treatment. Probably two of the hits I really want from the set, along with the Alt Art Gardevoir. Probably the card I want the most. But anyways, yeah, so Japanese boxes, it's like per box you would get, uh, most of the time you would get a two gold star art rare and then sometimes that gold that two gold star art rare would be replaced by the three gold star you know gold secret rare card and it seems like that's kind of how they're doing it in english now like they're just making the hit rates the same as japanese so 
In most boxes, you're probably going to get one two gold star alt art card. And then sometimes I've seen, I've actually seen boxes where they've gotten two of the two gold star alt art cards. And then every once in a while, your two gold star alt art card will be replaced by, oh, I forgot to give you the code on that one, will be replaced by the, the all gold secret rare card. If you saw my first box opening, that's what the case was with that box. I opened a, a three gold star secret rare card instead of an alt art. So I'm really liking it. You know, that's that's big implications for the secondary market. It's it's going to be way more fun for people opening box. It's very consumer friendly. It's not very secondary market friendly. Let's put it that way. I mean, because they're raising hit rates, right, of the rare cards. So it's going to be easier to open packs and get the cards you want. It's going to be easier to put together a full master set if you're trying to do that because there's there's now more reverse hollows and there's more of the alt art cards where you got the one gold star there. Pulled that one in my last video. So duplicates are a little unfortunate, but it happens. But yeah, very consumer friendly, easier to put together your master set, easier to get the cards you want but uh, basically the opposite for the secondary market because there's going to be more of them. The supply is going to be higher. That means on the secondary market, the prices are probably going to be lower. So good for consumers, perhaps not so good for if you're an LGS that likes opening product for singles and selling the singles. Not so good for you guys, but as someone that does not yet have a distributor and I don't open a huge amount of boxes, you know, it's fun not having to open a huge amount of boxes to get some really cool cards, you know? So very consumer friendly. Iron Treads EX with the cool star foiling. Very cool. Two hits so far. Going a little bit slow, but that's because I was talking and it takes some concentration to talk instead of just opening cards. All right, we've got Reverse Flittle, Cacnea, Arboliva. That card seems kind of common. I opened like three of them in the last box. So, yeah, I might make a video because, as I was saying earlier, there's kind of a divergence going on between the value of sealed product and the value of singles. You know, the EV, my, I'm, I'm thinking the EV of boxes is probably going to be lower. So it kind of sucks for anyone that likes opening packs and then selling all their extra cards because the boxes cost more and the EV is going to be even lower. So a little unfortunate there. But, I mean, Pokemon doesn't really care about the secondary market. They care about selling more boxes. And what sells more boxes is people having fun opening packs, getting the cards they want, and then opening more packs. You know what I mean? So, very smart move on Pokemon's side. I think Pokemon... The people running Pokemon are very smart, very good at what they do. They're very good at being able to predict variables and doing things that, oh, look at that. That is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Right on EX gold. So it should be the, ho the uh, hollow rare behind. That is a beautiful card. The gold Maridon. So I've gotten two gold cards out of two boxes now. Very cool. The three gold star, gold secret rares. Very beautiful. Let's look at the condition. That's something I didn't do in the last video. It's looking pretty darn good. Not a 10. As you can see, there's a little white nick on the corner there. But that really looks like the only problem 
with the card. So I would, I'd say that's not a 10. It would be a 9, probably, because that is the only problem I see with the card. That is beautiful. I'm going to sleeve that up. I might keep that. Depending on what the price is of this on the secondary market, I might just keep this. What I usually do is um, I will sell the cards because right when the set releases is when prices are the highest. So what I do usually is when I open good cards like that, I'll sell it. And then three months later, I'll just buy it again because it would have dropped 40 to 60% in price, you know, three months after the set comes out. So, but that one I might keep. It's not, not a 10. Usually I will keep it if I think it's so amazing that it's gradable. Ooh, we got a full art Coridon. We got a Maridon and a Coridon. Too bad we didn't get the, we got the full art Coridon in our last box. So too bad we didn't get the full art Maridon. But still pretty cool. Pretty cool. So we have two full art Pokemon. Oh, here you can see what I was talking about with how the treatment is different. So the Coridon, it's kind of your, your normal full art look. But with the Arcanine, it's got that super sparkly rainbow kind of effect over the top of it. So it's still the two Silver Star rarity, but they gave it a special treatment and they did the same thing with Gyarados. Wow, really good box. That, that seems kind of how Pokemon's trying to do it now is just like every box is a good box. You know, they increased the price, but also your average pulls are better. Slow bro, hollow rare. All right, three more packs for the first half of the box. Code for you goes in that pile. Try to speed it up a little bit. We've got Shroomish, Doc's Bun, Annihilate. I was actually going to make a, a short about Annihilate. I, after the last video, I was talking about how I liked Annihilate so much. And I went and looked up on, was it Bulbapedia, I think, possibly? Um, I looked up, uh, you know, what it says about Annihilate. And I was saying how Annihilate looks like the most metal Pokemon I've ever seen. Metal meaning, like, the music genre. Like metal, like hardcore metal. I was saying how that card just looks like the most metal card I've ever seen. We'll go and read about the Pokemon because the description of it is also probably the most metal thing I've ever heard about a Pokemon. <laughs> it's like it transcends its mortal body or something like that. It's like the most metal description of how a Pokemon evolves and exists. It's kind of hilarious. All right, we've got a small live, a nest ball, and a bayonet with the cool, does it? Oh yeah, there it is. The cool star hollow foiling. Very, very nice so far. So it's going to be interesting to see if our two gold star alt art is actually replaced by that three gold star because that's kind of what I was predicting. That's kind of how it is with the Japanese boxes. So we'll see if that's the case here. Will we still get a two gold star card or are we getting that gold Maraido? That's a really cool card. Definitely one of the best cards in the set. I think once prices start to like even out and people realize that alt arts aren't all that rare anymore, because you basically get one in a box. Squovet, the one gold star, art rare. Once people start figuring out that you basically get one alt art per box now, I think the price of alt arts is going to go down considerably. And these gold cards may actually start being, you know, higher price. But, you know, it does depend because it's supply and demand. You know what I mean? So just because there's less of the gold cards and there's a lot more of the alt art cards, you know, the demand for alt art cards may still be higher. So it'll be interesting to see what happens price wise over the next couple months. Because the way it seems, 
is that there's just going to be a lot of alt arts on the market now, approximately four times more, right? Because the pull rate used to be one in four boxes. Now it's basically one per box. So there's going to be significantly more alt arts, you know, listings on TCG player. And so that's my prediction. If you're watching this, you know that I like to kind of predict the market because I'm an investor. I like knowing how the market trends happen, things like that. So if you like knowing that stuff also, then make sure to subscribe because I talk about that kind of stuff often. And sometimes I even make dedicated videos about it. So that is my prediction. All right, Magikarp. That Magikarp is pretty cool. All right, Buizel, Professor's Research. Two different professors. I didn't realize because I mentioned in the last video that I didn't actually play the video game this time around. This is the first generation I haven't played the actual video game. So I didn't realize that each version, there's a different professor. There's a different Scarlet Professor and there's a different Violet Professor. I just didn't know that. Zangoose, Arbolova again. Seems to be a very common rare. All right, we've got a Reverse Slowpoke, Reverse Skidoo, and a Coridon EX with the cool star pattern. Yep, so those regular EXs all have that cool star pattern. Let's put the Coridon with the Coridon. So the, the Full Art Arcanine, the Bayonet, and the Coridon, the regular Coridon, not the Full Art one, are all new pulls for me, so that's pretty cool. I love getting new pulls. Rev of Room. All right, we've got Palmos, Viper, and a Dodongo. JK made that joke in the last video. All right. Oh, this pack doesn't want to open. There we go. All right, we've got a Hypno and a Dene and a Maridon Hollow Rare. Last few packs still should be getting like two or three hits. What I've been seeing is about 10 to 12 hits per box. Our last box had 10, so we were on the lower side of that. All right, we've got Buy Sharp, Scatterbug, Slowbro Hollow. Not the reverse, the regular Hollow. Hollow in every pack now, that's nice to see. Tatsugiri, Scovillain. Ooh, another full art. We've gotten three full arts in this box. That seems really high. Very cool. Spidops full art. Let's put this down below and we'll put Spidops up on the top row. Let's go with that. We'll put the regular EOX, EXs below. Full art EX is above. We've gotten three regulars and three full arts. That seems really high for full arts. All right, so seven regular hits. Well, I guess the gold one isn't actually a regular hit because I'm still, you know, in the mindset of regular set and trainer gallery. Oh my gosh, we got a two gold star. This box has so many good hits in it. This box is awesome. Is that pronounced Jack or Jacques? Because it has the Q on the end. 
Is it French? I mean, the game's supposed to take place in Spain, right? I'm going to sleeve up this two gold star car as well. But I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing exactly what other people have been saying. It's like every box you get a two gold star. Both of the boxes I've opened, we've gotten a three gold star. It's just like the hit rates for the really rare cards is just so much higher than it was before. Really, if you're going for a master set, it's going to be so much easier now. Another one gold star. Pachi Risu art rare. Very cool. And another, that was a double hit pack. Another Arcanine EX. We had one of these in the last one, but you can see. So both the regular EX and the EX full art are given a special treatment for Arcanine and Gyarados. Very cool. Very cool. I'll just put this up there now because we saw that one in the last video. So let's just get through these last three packs. How many hits is that now? Four, seven, ten. We're up to 12 hits now. That's probably going to be all of our hits. We have three more packs left. Let's see. Maybe I'll just skim through the last three. If we have another hit, I'd be a little bit surprised. So let's just kind of go through the last three packs real quick. Because I'm not the kind of person that you know, gets all their hits and then just sells all the other packs, knowing that there's probably nothing in them. I'm not that kind of person. So let's just go. Oh, it looks like we got something. This is going to be our 13th hit. A Magnazone EX. Wow. This box is well above average. <laughs> Holy cow. That's our 13th hit. So this one definitely doesn't have anything. Okay, cool. Got a Tarantula, Satoddle, and a Halucha. All right, so very above average box. So three art rares, very cool. We got three full arts, very, very cool. And then look at this, we got a two gold star alt art trainer, and then a three gold star Maridon EX. Fantastic box. 13 hits. Very nice. So, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to have a couple Pokemon Center exclusive ETB openings, and then I'm going to be having another booster box opening. So subscribe if you want to see those, and I'll see you guys in the next video.